Welcome back here to Hattiesburg. Robbie Donahoe anchoring our coverage from the Hattiesburg Regional. And yet again, Mississippi State stays alive, survive in advance. From here on out, that's going to be the goal for Mississippi State as they will have to win four games in two days. And game one is in the books. And yet again, the cardiac kids seem to make it interesting towards the end as the Bulldogs were able to hold off a late rally from Illinois Chicago to win five to four. Riley Self came on in the eighth. Bases loaded with one out, got a strikeout and a ground out with a force out to third to ultimately preserve that 5-4 to four win for Mississippi State over Illinois Chicago. With the win for the Bulldogs, they advance to the Sunday night game against the loser of Southern Miss and South Alabama. Now we're still waiting to see when that game will end up starting because weather, as you've probably heard, continues to be a factor around the area. Southern Miss and South Alabama got a late start due to MSU and UIC going a little long. But the story of the game for the Bulldogs was the pitching performance from Connor Pilkington. Leading up to that eighth inning, which ultimately spelled a lot of trouble for the Bulldogs, he was pitching seven strong, gave up just one hit and one earn, had retired 14 batters straight at one point, as he ultimately would get the win Bullpen had to save him late as he did end up giving up four earned after loading up the bases and leading, uh, leading to the position where MSU had to play a little tense moments. But regardless, a great pitching performance from Connor Pilkington, ultimately the reason why State advances to Sunday evening. Can't help but feel good. Um, you know, the 11 days or 10 days of rest, um, you know, you got a game plan to go out there and you got to execute pitches, um, keeping the ball down in the strike zone, locating the fastball in and out. Um, Throwing a curveball where I wanted to at any time in the game. In the eighth inning, they put a couple swings on me, but um, I mean, I give credit to my defense for really. I mean, without them, I wouldn't even be in the ball game. Every time Pilk takes the mound, um, we always have the most confidence in him because we know he goes out there and fights. And uh, the funny thing was, before the game, we texted each other, and I told him I was like, "I have your back, you have my back," and we go out there, and he throws up. A few uh, three up, three down innings, and you couldn't ask for anything better from him. Connor Pilkington was outstanding today. You know, seven strong innings with nine strikeouts. Um, you know, just kept him off balance, was able to run that fastball north of 90 miles an hour in on their hands. Uh, really kept a good offensive team off balance today. Um, like I said, we defended it well. We picked up timely hitting. Mac had several big hits for us today. Um, just a great day of baseball for us and really proud of our guys for coming out, performing the way, that, the way they did today and gives us the opportunity to come out tonight and, and compete against Southern Miss or, or South Alabama in a really big ball game. That big ball game is tonight for the Bulldogs. As we mentioned, it'll be against the loser of Southern Miss and South Alabama. But Mississippi State continues to play these really close games. This is now the 10th straight win in a one-run ball game. They haven't lost a one-run game since the middle of March when they played at Arkansas. So they almost welcomed these close games in a sense. So now at this point, Mississippi State is, is all bets are off. Pitching is going to have to step up and play big. And everyone else at the top of the order, especially one through five, you saw Andy Canazero switch up the lineup a little bit uh, with Hunter Stovall leading off. Rooker's still in third. Mangum was actually hitting fifth in the win over Illinois Chicago. He needs the top of the order to continue to perform for the Bulldogs going forward. We're certainly not the deepest team in the world right now. So, you know, those guys that, that hit up at the top of the order, you know, we need those guys to perform and need them to produce. And, you know, the way max has been swinging the bat, you know, in the middle of the order for us the last couple of weeks, you know, just continues to elongate that batting order for us and just gives us more weapons and, you know, gives us more guys that can go up there, get a hit, and drive somebody in. So Mississippi State will now await who they will play in the Sunday evening game against either South Alabama or Southern Miss. Now, there, there was some talk with Andy Canazero, his dad, Cat, who played here at Southern back in the mid-70s, was hoping to get a Mississippi State-Southern Miss matchup. We'll see if that matchup ends up happening tonight or if the Bulldogs win, they may have to carry that over into tomorrow if the Golden Eagles do win. One other mention, Brent Rooker became the first player in SEC history to hit 20 home runs, 35 doubles, and 75 RBIs in a season as he continues to cement his spot as one of the best baseball players in the country in 2017. He was named the National Player of the Year by Collegiate Baseball earlier this week. Now, we'll see if he, can ends up, if he ends up winning the Golden Spikes Award given to the top baseball player in the country by the NCAA. Our coverage from Hattiesburg will continue tonight here on WCBI Sports. Reporting here from just outside of the peak, Robbie Donahoe for WCBI Sports, and we'll see you later this evening.